Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a Yo guys, it's a welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna to be going over how to do custom sounds in Fortnite. So the first thing you need to do is download the two links in the description, which will be to HXD and the folder that will have some sounds, not all of these that have a couple in. So uh let me just pull up we'll do um we'll do this one and we'll do this one at the moment. In fact no, we'll do we we'll do the infinite dab. And you jam, why not? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up HXD and you're gonna wanna make your way to pack chunk zero. Now you've done that, let's start with uh infinite dab. You're gonna wanna drag these two into here and then close down this. Now you've done that, you're gonna wanna make these leave them a sec, sorry, and then go to the original one. You're gonna wanna scroll down until you get to UE4 here and then you're gonna wanna do control C come through here paste it in here on hex values and it all and then click OK and just wait this will take a second to search okay so now I found where you wanna go the first thing you wanna do you wanna click right in front of the UE go over to the Athena underscore remote infinite dab replace do control A you wanna make sure you copy that come in the back track and make sure you hit control B so now you've done that, you're going to close down infinite dab and the infinite dab replace and just put that somewhere else so you know which one you've done. Now you're going to want to get the groove jam. You're going to want to place them into HXD. You're going to make sure, leave them on the same, so I did that again. What you're going to want to do is you want to come down until you get to the UE4 and then make sure you search it in here. Come back to the top, control F, search. Because I just will take a second to find. So now it's found it, the first thing you want to do is click in front of the UE, come over to the Groove Jam Replace, make sure you do Control A and copy it, and then when you come back to Pack Chunk um, 0, make sure you do Control B. Now you're going to want to close that, you're going to want to move your folder, and now you're going to want to get fresh. So you're going to drag these two in here, you want to make sure they're the same. So you're going to want to drag down until you get to OGGS, make sure it's the, um, make sure it's the second one I think. Now you wanna come in here, you're gonna wanna search it. Oh. You wanna search it. If this does not work for you guys, it's because you need to do it on the first OGGS, not the second one. I think that might be wrong, I'm not sure. So I found out you're gonna wanna click in front of it. You wanna come over here to the alley A, do control A, control C, and then come back here and do control B. Now you wanna do it, you can close these two and now click save. Okay guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to put up a clip now on screen of what they do look like in-game. I didn't have them in-game, obviously, as I have other stuff coding for them at the moment, such as the in-game dances for the leaked ones. If you guys want to do know how to do the leaked dances and leaked skins in-game, make sure you let me know and I'll put out a tutorial next on how to do that. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, yeah guys, I'll see you in the next one.